I just got back from a three-day classroom and it was worse than I expected. I realized that I'm even more different to the average teenager. So I kind of wanted to get out of my comfort zone, you know, go on a three-day class trip, get to know some people in my class, maybe make some friendships and go out. We went to like a Volkswagen, you know, the German car brand uh, industry place and looked at some cars and stuff like that. And then in the evening, I wanted to go to bed at 10, you know, 10 p.m. Normal time for me to go to bed. I had to get up at 7 so I can get like around 8 hours of sleep. And then everyone in my room, we were five people, everyone but me. I was the only one trying to sleep. I was watching TikTok for like six hours every, every fucking evening. They were just watching TikTok for six hours every evening. And before I went to bed, I did my workout and got a cold shower. Then I tried to go to bed. I couldn't sleep because they were so loud. They were constantly watching TikTok, like looking, like staring at their fucking phone and then saying all the time they're feeling depressed. And I'm literally like, yeah, maybe it's because he spent six hours a day on social media or TikTok and like another two hours on social media. Like they're all fucking super st overstimulated, listening to some gym TikToks or hard style, like it's, 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 it's music or smoking out of the window like the other people from not from my class but from the same age group as me who were also there when we started going out on the floor at 23 o'clock and started doing party like turned up music we're knocking on the doors knocking on the walls screaming around and it just showed me how much different i'm like it was for me normal to go to bed at 10 and then sleep and before i go to bed i do a workout or i read or i meditate or i get a cold shower and then i go to bed and then next morning I wake up and do my workout again, get a cold shower and start working or go to school. But they just, they were awake to like three or four in the night, literally always looking at the fucking phone, watching TikTok or porn or whatever, eating junk food and constantly drinking energy drinks in the evening. Constantly drinking energy drinks in the evening. Like I like to drink coffee, but I only drink it in the morning or like uh, midday, but I never drink it after like 6 p.m. And coffee is much more healthier than it's much much healthier than energy drinks, of course. And they were also eating like crap, like they just bought these fucking snacks, like Nutella, be ready sticks, and Harry bows and Kinder chocolate. And I'm just sitting there eating my fucking protein yogurt with uh, oats. Like I'm so different to the average person. I thought I'm gonna meet friends and, and, and make like talk about some deep shit, maybe make some connections because I know some people. In my age group, in my, in my school, at my school, I like going to the gym and stuff like that. Or there's one other guy who's also doing kickboxing like me. I, could, I thought I could, I could maybe talk to them. Maybe I guess know them better and I can see that they're kind of on self-improvement or on self-improvement, like completely like me. But turned out they're just maybe doing one productive thing or saying they're going to go into the gym or saying they're doing kickboxing. Maybe they actually are, but they're not doing like seriously like me. And they're not doing it off with a point in the, in the head of I want to improve my mental health or I want to improve my physique and like just going to the gym because it's a trend and they don't really care about like diet and stuff like that. Like I have this guy in my, had this guy in my room I said before we were five people, one of them was also going to the gym like six times a week. It's like, yeah, nice. Like I'm proud of you. He's been going to the gym for nine months. He made almost no gains. He's still skinny. He has a bit of a biceps. And then I was like analyzing, like kind of putting me, me in my, in me and his perspective. He's sleeping like four, five, six hours a night. Not optimal for muscle growth. He's drinking at least four energy drinks a day. Not good for your health, not good for your heart rate, not good for sleep. His breakfast was two energy drinks and five croissants with chocolate. You know, croissants like this, this kind of bread with a lot of butter and then there's like chocolate inside. He ate five of them and he was like, yeah, I'm bulking, I'm dirty bulking. I'm like, bro, okay, you're dirty bulking, but there's no protein in there. It's not, for, not good for your health and you're only going to gain fat by that, not not any muscle. I didn't say that to him, but that's what I thought. Like, now it makes sense why he's not making progress and it makes sense that I am standing out so much because I actually, like, improve all areas of my life, not only in one. And I also want to get that out to you. Like, if you just go to the gym but everything else in your life is shit, it is not as good as if you were completely on self-improvement, going to the gym, eating clean, sleeping right, focusing on your mental health because... In self-improvement, one thing benefits the other. You go to the gym, it benefits your health. You meditate, it benefits your health. Your mental health gets better, you're doing better at the gym. 
you're getting cold showers, you get more motiv motivation, you're feeling better, you get better at the gym or better meditation. Gratitude journal, your mental health gets better, you can do be better in the gym. You eat clean, you feel better, your mental health is better, you have less brain fog, your insulin is not as high because you don't need as, as much sugar, you eat more protein, you get more, more gains in the gym, and we perform better in the gym. Like it all connects to each other. Like it does you in the center of the person, and these are like the good habits, and they all benefit each other. But if you just only do one, the other pillars fall away. If you're just going to the gym by eating shit, shit diet, shit, uh, shit sleep schedule, shit mental health, it all benefits the progress in your gym, and you're not gonna make as much progress in the gym. And I also want to like kind of the reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel is mostly because I want to help other people and teach other people. As a kid, I always liked to help other people. I was friends with like a, a special needs kid. I helped him. He had like autism or something like that. I was also help. I was always helping him. I was his best friend. And later on, I had like a really fat guy. I was also fat at that time. But I like tried tried to help him. And then like in my last relationship, my girlfriend was like drug addicted in a care home and stuff like that. I tried to help her. I wasn't actually love. It was more me trying to help her. Like I always like got dragged to like not dragged, but I always like walked towards weaker weaker people or people who are disabled or are not doing so good in life, and I try to help them. And that's why I'm doing this YouTube channel because I know the pain of doing all the bad habits and wanting to get into the good ones. And it's good if you have someone who can take it, who you can take advice from, someone who's like laying out a clear path for you to follow. Because I wish that I had that when I was like 10, 12, 13, 14, before, like 15, 16, before I got into self-improvement. And it's also a really good thing because I want to create like this this brotherhood. Like masculine energy is a lot about brotherhood and like people who can, you can actually trust because together you make so much more progress. You know, you're like the average of the five people you spend your time with. If you have five strong people, you're going to be the sixth. If you fight weak people, you're gonna see you're gonna be the six, uh, the six most like six, six weak person. And like I said, I was in a room with five people. Four of them, I was a fifth. Four of them watching TikTok, eating shit, and I got influenced by that. I tried to be my good habits, sleep well, good diet stuff like that. I still stick to it and like yeah, but they were still influencing my sleep badly and everything else. So I would continue to hang around with them. I would probably turn into them in like a few months or weeks or even days. I would probably start watching like, TikTok six hours a day as well. Because you just adapt to like other people. It's normal human behavior. You want to fit in. But I was just like, fuck no, I'm going to stick to my routine because I know it's the best for me. I know it's the best for almost everyone. And I want to get them onto my routine, not their routine. And everyone can live how they want when they're actually happy. But these guys keep saying they're so depressed, so depressed, but you're depressed. But then they go home, lay in bed, sleep, or watch six hours a day of TikTok and then go to school again. Like that's just the whole life. They go to school, go to sleep, watch TikTok, go to school, go to sleep, watch TikTok. And then they're wondering why they are depressed. Like, it makes no sense to me. It completely makes no sense to me. So, yeah, like I said, I want to create a space where individuals like me can come together, like, just like a close community of, like, maybe, like, 10 people would actually, like, light up my heart. If there are, like, 10 other, like, 17, 18, 19, 15, 13, you old guys out there who are also on this path thinking the same way as me and also on self-improvement they actually want to improve their life. So <clears throat> we can like create this brotherhood and this community and benefit from each other. Because I have experienced once again what the pain is like to be around people who are not like you, who are completely not like you. I've experienced the pain yesterday evening and this morning and the three hours we drove back by the bus. I'm home since like one hour. I did my workout, I had my mom with the groceries, and now I'm recording a video. They're probably laying in bed right now watching TikTok. Completely two different worlds. And it, it sucks being around those people who are not like you. So, it, like, I, I'm inviting you to space, like, and on this YouTube channel, it's like a safe space for you, bro. Like, if you want self-improvement, if you're like me, if you're working out, eating, trying to eat clean, meditating, gratitude journaling, like, working on a business, trying to write good grades at school, going to the gym, whatever going out in nature, trying to be more masculine, avoiding degenerate behavior, avoiding the modern world, avoiding the modern addiction, drugs, alcohol, avoiding the LGBTQ stuff, avoiding like trying to be like people take a masculine. Like if all, if you agree with what I'm saying, this is like a safe space and I'm inviting you to like be in this community, follow the channel or 
whatever, write a comment, tell me your story. Like I'm inviting you. And I I want to connect, build a connection to people who are like me because we can benefit from each other so much and we could actually have fulfilling relationships, f fulfilling friendships, actually have fun. And my dream would be in a couple of years to have like a big community with people all around the world and we meet up and do like some real real life cool shit, like go to the gym together, go on adventures together, ride the motorcycle or go swimming. Not like degenerate partying shit, not taking drugs, not playing video games and we live together, like actually like productive habits which bring you forward. Or meditating together, like going to the gym together would be my dream, like with five gym bros. We're all going to the gym together, feeling strong, motivating each other. You will literally hear PR, PR after PR. But sadly, you're probably around losers. So this is like the space for you where you can join this community and not be around losers. Thank you for listening. I appreciate your time and see you in the next one.